Hi, I'm Trace Davis. I'm a coach here at the Austin Tennis Academy. I'm here today to help show you a fun way that you can help improve your game using the new Wilson Glide shoe. Today's players hit the ball so hard that it's very important that you move really fast and really explosively into every shot. That's why you see today's top players sliding into their shots even when they're playing on a hard court. The Wilson Glide is the first shoe specifically designed to help you slide on a hard court. The reason players want to slide on a hard court is it allows them to sprint to the ball. They don't have to slow down and kind of measure their steps before they get there. They can sprint, be really explosive, slide into the shot, hit the ball, and then they're on balance and ready to push off back to the middle for the next shot. Now, let's get to the fun part. Let's get you out here on the court with the Wilson Glide and we'll take you through a few exercises that help you master the art of sliding. When we introduce a new player to the glide, we want them to get used to the feeling of sliding on the hard court. So the first exercise that we're gonna do today is called ice skating. It's a pretty simple one. You just have the player push through the midsole of their foot to really engage the plate, and just slide through the court like they're ice skating. Once they start to feel how the glide slides, we're going to take them through another exercise that's going to help them get a full stretch on their slide. And to do this drill, you're going to need another coach or another player to be a partner. This next drill is called the gliding dance. You're going to have a partner, and the partner is going to help lead the player across the court. The partner will hold the player's hands, and the player can push into the partner's hands to help keep them upright and kind of float through the slide, really just trying to stretch through the slide as far as possible and just get that really good reach through the end of the slide. The next drill will help your players coordinate their upper and their lower body during the slide so that they can stop at exactly the right time to hit their target. For the slide the line drill, have the player start from the center of the court. They should move towards the single sideline sliding right up to the line, try to stop right there at the single sideline. Be very balanced, push back to the middle as quick as possible, get to neutral, and then move to the other corner and slide towards the other single sideline, and then repeat. You've learned how to slide with control to specific spots on the court. Now we're gonna bring the ball out and add some hand-eye coordination to the mix. In the catch the ball drill, have the player and a partner face each other just a few feet apart. The partner is going to toss the ball to either side of the player who has to slide out and catch the ball. Gradually increase the intensity as you go, forcing the player to slide a little bit further each time before they can catch the ball. You can also increase the intensity by throwing it back behind them a few times and kind of keeping them on their toes just like they would have to do in a match. At this point, you should be getting pretty comfortable moving with the Wilson Glide. Now we're going to bring the racket out and we're going to increase the intensity a little bit over the next few exercises. Once again, you'll need a partner to feed this drill. We're going to set a cone up right in the middle of the baseline and have the player stand behind the cone. The partner will toss the ball wide to their forehand. And the player will slide out into the forehand, try to finish their slide right before they hit, get a good load, hit the ball, and recover inside and around the cone. The partner will continue to toss the ball out wide, have the player slide into it and recover around the cone. Do five or six of these, but really let them get a feel of it and move aggressively into the corner. One of the keys of this drill is that they try to take as few steps as possible to cover the corner. Try to eliminate the little stutter steps, taking too many steps to measure up for the ball and really just go aggressively, two or three big steps, slide into the ball and recover quickly. In this drill, you have your player start in one corner of the court, and we're going to feed the ball to the opposite corner, and they're going to run, work on their lateral slide into the ball, hit the ball, and then have them run forward to slide up for the drop shot. For this last drill, we're going to take all the skills that we've been working on today with the Wilson Glide, and we're going to put them into a little bit more realistic, point-like situation. For this test, we've set a ball machine up to feed balls into the forehand corner. Each player will hit three or four forehands using their regular shoes, then they'll come out and hit three or four using the Wilson Glide. The player will start in the center, move wide, hit the forehand, recover back to the center as quick as possible. 
We're going to let them see how much fun it is to slide into the ball and how much more efficiently they can move out, hit, and recover using the Wilson Glide. Hope you guys had fun learning how to slide on a hard court using the new Wilson Glide shoe. Now it's your turn. Good luck perfecting your slide.